what this is now this is I think 1910 to 1920 this cowgirl from that era and these gals what they would do is of course they competed these old saddle broncs and they would compete against cowboys in the rodeos or in wild west shows and so what they would do is they would take a horse out in the middle of the arena and they'd snub him up and that horse would be blindfolded then they put a saddle on there and you can see here i'll turn him around see it's got a single cinch on it that saddle is that way you can get him cinched up real quick you know and then this cowgirl will jump up on top they pull the blindfold off he has of course horse have a holder on it. and we'll get there when i get there and then the snubbing man would release that horse and that horse would break into and these gals had to ride this horse to a standstill so it wasn't just eight seconds of buck. They were just right here to a standstill. So she's seen how he's got, she's got this little hat right here. It's called fanning. So she's kind of showing him off. She's going to fan him a little bit so he'll buck harder. And then watch, you'll notice she's looking right down at the head on this horse. When you're on a bucking horse, you, the head tells you where they're going to go. So you want to make sure that you're following uh, that head. And that. So she's all kind of right back. I haven't got the spurs on yet, but I got her stirrups in that. And so that's the story behind it. You can see the dust and crud kind of bringing it up. So from a design standpoint, you have kind of this nice circular shape. And what it does is it brings you up into the piece and back down into it, and it won't let you escape it. And you want to have those twists and turns in there so that no matter what, that piece looks good. I don't care if you're looking at the old horse's butt, it still looks good. So that's what you're after.